have you ever wondered how a normal eye converts light energy into visual signals or why some people find it difficult to see at night in this video you will get answers to all these questions Hi this is Pratima from Planet Physiology and welcome to the session on photochemistry of vision as per the viewers request i have included some important questions also at the end so watch the video till the end before we start with the topic let us quickly brush up the important points that are necessary to understand this concept retina is the innermost layer of the eye as shown in yellow color in this diagram it is made up of 10 layers the outermost layer is pigmented layer which is in contact with the choroid whereas the innermost layer is of optic nerve fibers and it is in contact with vitreous pigmented layer contains melanin which helps to absorb light and prevents their reflection it also stores vitamin a which is necessary for formation of photopigments photoreceptors are rods and cones outer segments of photoreceptors are facing towards the pigmented layer as you can see in this picture these are the outer segments and this is the pigmented layer outer segment of photoreceptors contain cyclic gnp gated sodium channels which are in open state in dark and they allow sodium influx photochemicals are embedded in the disc of photoreceptors as transmembrane proteins photochemical is called as rhodopsin in case of rod and iodopsin in case of cones inner segments of rods and cones continuously pump out sodium ions via sodium potassium pumps thus during darkness there is continuous diffusion of sodium into the outer segment of the photoreceptors and active removal of sodium ions from inner segment of the photoreceptors this sodium current or dark current keeps the membrane potential to less negative value which is minus 40 millivolts at this low membrane potential there is steady release of neurotransmitter glutamate from synaptic zone of the photoreceptors with this background knowledge let us start with the proper topic photochemistry of the vision the term photochemistry means chemical changes taking place in photoreceptors during phototransduction process now what is this phototransduction phototransduction is nothing but the mechanism of converting light energy into visual signals so let us begin with the structure of photopigment as i told in case of rods it is rhodopsin it consists of two parts opsin which is the transmembrane protein and retinin or retinal which is the aldehyde of vitamin a in case of rod opsin is called as scotopsin since rhodopsin is purple in color it is also called as visual purple retinal is synthesized from vitamin a that is retinol so suffix ol indicates that retinol is alcohol in nature whereas suffix al al indicates retinol is aldehyde in nature opsin part of rhodopsin as i told earlier is scotopsin and it occupies 90% of the membrane proteins in the discs of the rod it acts as g protein coupled receptor g protein associated with opsin is called as transducin now coming to the retinal portion in dark retinal exists in 11 cis configuration and in this form retinal is in bent configuration which fits perfectly in the opsin portion this diagram shows part of membrane in the disc of the rod shown in green color is the transmembrane protein that is opsin and shown in the pink color is retinal within the opsin it is placed parallel to the disc within the opsin so you can see that this retinal is perfectly fitting 
in the opsin part. Now the first step in phototransduction is visual cycle or rhodopsin cycle. Whenever light strikes the retina, rhodopsin begins to decompose within a fraction of a second. First it gets converted to bathorhodopsin, then to lumirhodopsin, metarhodopsin 1 and finally into metarhodopsin 2. All these intermediates between rhodopsin and metarhodopsin 2 are highly unstable and hence are immediately converted to the next form. Metarhodopsin 2 is the stable and active form of rhodopsin where 11 cis retinal is converted to all trans retinal. So, light energy causes conversion of rhodopsin to metarhodopsin 2 and in metarhodopsin 2 retinal exists in all trans retinal. As shown in this picture, all trans retinal is a straight molecule. So, chemically it is same, but configuration now becomes straight and hence it cannot fit in opsin and get separated from it. So, once retinol gets separated from opsin, phototransduction process begins. So, let us see step by step. So, separation of retinol from opsin causes conformational change in the opsin molecule. As a result, transducin which is the G protein associated with opsin gets activated leading to activation of enzyme cyclic GMP phosphodiesterase. This enzyme converts cyclic GMP to GMP and as a result concentration of cyclic GMP within the rod decreases. This leads to closure of cyclic GMP gated sodium channels in the outer segment of the rods. Now as these leak channels are closed but sodium ions are continuously being pumped out from the inner segment, rods get hyperpolarized that is their resting membrane potential changes to more negative value. As a result there is decreased release of glutamate from the synaptic zone. This is detected by the bipolar cells which convey this message to the ganglion cells in electrotonic form. So, please understand over here it is not action potential. Ganglion cells in turn initiate action potentials in their axons which are transmitted in the optic nerve. Thus, phototransduction converts light energy into the action potential and the site where action potential is generated in the retina is axons of the ganglion cells. Let us quickly summarize important points in phototransduction with the help of diagram. Light energy converts rhodopsin into metarhodopsin 2. It causes conformational change in opsin that ultimately leads to closure of cyclic GMP gated sodium channel, but inner segment continues to pump out sodium leading to development of hyperpolarization. This causes decreased release of glutamate which is sensed by bipolar cells and these signals travel electrotonically to ganglion cells which generate action potentials in their axons. So, remember photoreceptors are the only receptors in the body where stimulus leads to hyperpolarization. Now, as we have seen light energy converts rhodopsin into metarhodopsin 2 where 11 cis retinal gets converted to all trans retinal. This being straight molecule cannot fit into the opsin and gets separated from it. This process of separation of retinal from opsin is termed as bleaching because rhodopsin loses its color. Now, there is need to synthesize this rhodopsin back. So, let us study how this rhodopsin is resynthesized. The enzyme isomerase converts all trans retinal back to 11 cis retinal and now it can combine with opsin to resynthesize rhodopsin. During dark condition to see the objects clearly more and more rhodopsin molecules are decomposed and hence rods need to resynthesize more amount of rhodopsin. To fulfill this demand all trans retinal that is stored form of vitamin A is converted 
to all trans retinal and then to 11 cis retinal. It combines with scotopsin to form new rhodopsin pigment. Some amount of vitamin A is also converted to 11 cis retinol and then to 11 cis retinol which again then combines with scotopsin to form rhodopsin. Thus, whenever needed stored vitamin A from pigmented layer is utilized to synthesize rhodopsin. Thus, rods are responsible for dim light vision. During bright light, most of the rhodopsin is bleached and retinol is converted to all trans retinol and it is stored in the pigmented layer. This breakdown and resynthesis of rhodopsin is the basis for clear vision at night as well as during the day. Cones also show similar changes to that of rhodopsin but only thing is that they are working during daylight. In case of vitamin A deficiency, person is unable to synthesize required quantities of 11 cis retinol during dark conditions. Hence, there is decreased formation of rhodopsin and person is unable to see properly at night. This condition is known as night blindness and the clinical term for night blindness is nyctalopia. In case of prolonged vitamin A deficiency, cone functions are also altered and person finds it difficult to see also during daytime. It also causes damage to photoreceptors as well as other neural layers in the retina. Lacrimal secretion is also reduced leading to dry eye which is called as xerophthalmia. Since nyctalopia is caused due to vitamin A deficiency, it is treated by restoring vitamin A levels. If vitamin A replacement is done in earlier stage, then the condition can be reversed completely. So, here we finish with the topic of photochemistry of vision. So, let us see the important questions on this topic. Photochemistry of vision is very commonly asked short note and nyctalopia is asked as brief answer question. Various MCQs can be formulated on this topic like which of the following receptors respond to stimulus by developing hyperpolarization. Resting membrane potential of photoreceptors is dash millivolt. Which retinal cells generate action potential? Which statement is false? In response to light, rhodopsin gets converted to metarhodopsin 2, 11 cis retinol gets converted to all trans retinol, cyclic GMP levels increase, and transducin gets activated. What are the consequences of vitamin A deficiency? So, I am sure if you have watched this video completely and sincerely, you can answer each and every question given here. So, that is all for this session. Thank you. If you enjoy my sessions, press the like button and share it with your friends. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, press the subscribe button. To get notifications about new releases, press bell icon. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.